Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. Today I have another H-E-B grocery haul for you. I'm at H-E-B right now and I'm about to go in and get my groceries. And then when I get home, I'll show you what I got, show you how much I spent, and share my meal plan for the week. If you guys enjoyed these videos on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button and let's get to shopping. Okay, so I just made it home and most of my groceries are over here on the table. And then I have some over here. So I'm gonna show you the haul, let you know how much I spent, and then I'll share my meal plan with you. As usual, Angus is in the background making noise, so I got a big pack of chicken breasts. We only need chicken for one meal, but I thought I'd get some extra to stick in the freezer. I got these Texas style pork ribs, boneless. We're gonna use these to make a pork shepherd's pie. Normally I would have bought carnita meat, but Walmart is the only one that sells it cut that way that I've found, so I just got these. I got a big pack of ground beef. We're gonna make some burgers on the grill. I got some more of this Sunkissed Berry Lemonade. If you like Taco Bell Baja Blast, you'll like this, because to me that's what it tastes like. But I got this and some lemonade, and I also got some sherbet. I'm gonna make Tucker some punch for his birthday this weekend. I also got a big bag of variety chips. We keep buying big bags of chips and it gets down to the bottom and then nobody eats them and they get thrown away. So I figured this way, it's just a whole lot easier. And really, if I ended up buying two or three bags of different chips, I'd end up spending the same amount of money. So might as well get these. Got some more paper plates. Yes, I know they're wasteful, but you know what? Mom only has so much time in her day. Gotta make shortcuts somewhere. And then I got the boys. Oh. 
some more of these Kool-Aid Purple Source Rex drinks. They really like those. So up here I have two boxes of cereal. These were each a dollar off. Whoa! So I got the Trace Leches and the Horchata Crisps. The boys really like both of those, so those will be good. For Tucker's birthday, I got two frozen pizzas because we're just doing a lunch thing with my dad. Oh, and it's thawing out. I have to hurry. Um, two frozen pizzas for his birthday party and some corn dogs because that's what he requested. And for his fifth birthday, if he wants pizza and corn dogs, he's going to get pizza and corn dogs. We got a gallon of milk. This is the lime, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, lime sherbet that I got for the punch that I'm going to make. Some more sour cream. We're going to be making a crock pot taco pasta thing. So just in case we didn't have enough, I got some more of that. Got some more lunch meat, some honey ham, and then black forest turkey breasts. Got one bag of frozen corn and one bag of frozen peas. We got some more butter, some queso fresco cheese. That is for the taco pasta I was talking about. Then I got some Colby Jack, some Monterey Jack, and cheddar cheese. The cheddar half is for a recipe, and then these other ones, I'll probably use half for recipes too, but we're going to make our little sausage, apples, and cheese platter one night. I think on the night of Tucker's birthday, that way we don't have to cook dinner after we did a whole birthday party thing. I got some wonton wrappers. We're going to be making some lettuce wraps, and we wanted some cream cheese wontons to go with them. I got some ranch dip for Tucker's birthday to go with some veggies, a block of cream cheese, two more things of yogurt, the key lime and the vanilla, and then the summer sausage to go with our cheese and crackers and apples and that kind of thing. For pantry items, I got one thing of chicken broth. The boys still have quite a few granola bars left, but I thought I'd grab them a few more. These are the cookies and cream ones. I don't know if they've had these yet. They should like those. They'll probably fall down. Tastes like Oreos, so who wouldn't like those? I grabbed some more of this Rico's Queso. They were on sale, buy one, get one free again. So I grabbed two of those. Some honey mustard to go with our sausage and cheese and apples. Some more mayo. I really like Duke's mayo, but I was trying to save some money, so HEB is good enough for me. Some black olives and green olives to go with our sausage thing. We are out of parsley, so I grabbed some more of that. Some more ketchup because we're always running out. Usually we make our own salad dressing for our lettuce wraps, but I decided to go the easy route this time and got this sesame ginger dressing. And I hope it's good. And it's Paul Newman. And all the profits are donated to charity, so there you go. Some refried beans, some hot tomato sauce. This is basically, if you get a can of Rotel and just blend it up, that's what it tastes like. So this is easier because Adam doesn't like the chunks. So I just grabbed this, it's like 44 cents, I think. And they were out of the store brand green chilies, but I just got these. Apparently everybody wanted green chilies this week. Got the boys some more fruit cups, some mandarin oranges. These were on sale. And some peaches. And then for our taco pasta, I grabbed these shells. I'm pretty sure we'll only use one of these bags, but they're like 33 cents. So I just went ahead and grabbed two in case we needed more. Up here, I have some more of my favorite tortilla chips. I'm gonna make some queso on Tucker's birthday, so we needed those to go with it. Some hamburger buns. For the burgers Adam's gonna make on the grill. And then I grabbed this sourdough bread that looks super good and I could smell the bakery. I bought all that lunch meat so I figured some sourdough would be good with sandwiches. And then these two trail mixes that I got in my last grocery haul were still on sale so I grabbed another one of each of those. The Texas Heat and the Sweet and Sassy. This one wasn't on sale but it sounded good. Peanut butter and chocolate lovers. It's got all kinds of chocolate and peanuts and yeah. So that'll be really good. I really like this one and this one. These are so good. So if you have an HEB and you haven't tried these, you should definitely try those. 
Got some more green leaf lettuce and iceberg for salads. Got a couple of apples to go with our sausage. These are, what are these? Kanzi apples. I don't know if I've ever tried these. It said they had really strong flavors, so we'll see how those are. Bag of potatoes. One big cucumber. Then I got some red grapes. Ew, that one looks squished. Hopefully that happened in the car, but red grapes. And then for Tucker's birthday, I'm gonna make a veggie platter too. So I got some broccoli, some sugar snap peas, and some baby carrots for that. And probably these tomatoes that we'll have left because we're gonna use some of these for the taco pasta. And I'm sure I'll still have more than half of this left. So those will go on the veggie platter too, along with the cucumber. And I got a bag of carrots. So that's everything I got at HEB, and I'll put the total right here. This is for one week of dinners, breakfast, lunch, that kind of stuff, and some birthday party fun. So I spent a little more than I normally do, but that's okay. Tucker's gonna have a birthday party full of junk food and all kinds of other stuff. And you know what? He's five. How many times do you turn five? Let's eat the junk food. So let me get to our dinner meal plan and I'll show you what we plan to make. Okay, so here's our meal plan for the week. We're gonna be making a shepherd's pie with some pork instead of beef or a cottage pie, whatever you wanna call it, with a salad. And then Adam's gonna make some cheeseburgers on the grill and we'll just have some chips with those. Then we're gonna make some Asian lettuce wraps. I've made those on my channel before, but I can't find the video. So I'll just show you again, they're really, really good. And then I'm gonna make some cream cheese wontons on the side. I'm gonna make a crock pot taco pasta and we'll just have a salad with that. Pork and beans with cornbread. Well, I call it pork and beans, but pinto beans in the crock pot with some leftover pork thrown in. We actually had that tonight, so that'll be on my what's for dinner on Sunday. And then we're gonna have our sausage, apples, and cheese. That's just what we call it. We have summer sausage, apples, different kinds of cheese, and then we put some olives and grapes and honey mustard and all kinds of stuff with that with some Ritz crackers. It's a super easy dinner and the boys love it and they'll eat tons of fruit and veggies with that. So that's always something fun. That's something Adam's parents did when he was growing up. So we have that occasionally. So that's the meal plan for this week. And I'm pretty sure this taco pasta will be on next week's slow cook and speed clean video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.